Hey everyone, what's good? It's me, Double. I'm back with another one. And I put up a video a couple of days ago about pedal placement order, and it got me using my ES8 board once again. I really love that board. <laughs> I just love it. But in this here video, I spoke about using my Tonex One pedal with a little MIDI controlled device. And it's awesome. It's being distributed by Pirate MIDI, and they have a number of devices. And it's all in conjunction with this mastermind named Greg. And he came up with a way that you can make these on your own for maybe a little less than you could buy it from Pirate MIDI. Either way, if you have a Tonex one, I highly recommend looking into it. If you'd like to get into the MIDI aspects, somebody asked me, what about editing? And I'm stupid. I'm not exactly the smartest guy in the world. I was wrong. You were right. You're the best. I'm the worst. Uh, you're very good looking. I'm not attractive. All right. As long as you're willing to admit that. So now that that's clear, I want to address using something as simple as an old iPad like this or anything that you can get onto a network with. Old iPad, old Android device, new Android device, anything that can get onto a network. And I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to do it wirelessly. It's really cool. When you boot up the Pico or any one of these units, it's going to have the opportunity for you to connect a device like this to it via Wi-Fi then pull up in a browser a local editor and it's brilliant it works so well and i can't believe that i forgot to tell you guys about this i'm double i'm so nice i'll do it twice so what we want to do is during the first 30 seconds of boot up we want to have our connection established all right so i have my ipad right here in front of me ready to go i'm going to turn on my board i can turn on my wi-fi tonex config will be an available network that we can grab enter your password one two three four five six seven eight shlemiel shlemazel tonex local look at that now we have access to everything happening within our tonex one how about that huh how cool is that? We can turn delays on and off, sync, do pre or post on the effects. I can pick my amp. You can pick your cabinet model. You can do all that kind of stuff. You can even go over here to your global and tap your tempo in, which is, that's cool, right? That's cool. You can do this in any device that sends PC numbers. You plug your MIDI out over into the Polar Pico and then USB over to the Tonex. That USB will power it up as long as the Pico is getting at least 300 milliamps, nine volts. And you can adjust your PC codes or program change codes Right there, number 15, I have that set for Van Halen's, what, really hooked? 78 sound. And if I bring it down to number three. That's a Friedman model. So as I change that PC number to the according patch number, it's going to pull up whatever it is that I have. So number 15 is that EVH sound. Number three is Friedman. Number one and two, for example, would be my Linehart or my Katana. Make that number one, hit enter. See that has changed. Make it number two for my Katana, and that's changed. <laughs> When you're done with your settings on PC numbers, just hit save. Always save, always save, right? So I just wanted to address that question real quick. Hopefully this is a short video. Tonex.local on whatever device that you're connecting to the Tonex one through the 
Pirate MIDI, Greg Smith, Tonex One Project controller device. Okay. Ooh, that's hard to say all at once, but that's it. You know, you can make one of the Greg Smith Project controllers. You can buy one from Pirate MIDI. They have all sorts of them with little screens, without. I have uh, the Click version two, which I'm waiting for an update. Can't wait till they update that. But I also have uh, the Polar Pico. Great little unit. Pirate Mini, guys out of Australia, good company, go check them out. Uh, they didn't ask me to make this, I'm just making this because somebody had asked about editing Tonex One. Now that it's on my big board, how am I gonna edit it? You know, I have to unplug everything and get the USB and all that. You don't need an ES8, you don't need really a controller or anything like that. You can select all of your patches and everything for your, for your Tonex One right from that editing screen. Up here in the top right corner, once you touch that, you can also pick your patch this way. Of course, that's not gonna store it in your device. Test everything from here. I'm, I'm edited, did, did, did. look at that, so easy. The Wi-Fi, everything is right there. It'll store your password. If you have a little bit of trouble connecting, if it's not strong enough for you, you can increase the transmitter power. You can do all these edits, do a save and reboot. When you save and reboot on any of those kind of parameters within the general parameters of the software, it will reboot the unit and you will have to reconnect from your device. Um, but you won't have to do all that when you're editing. Like if you make amp changes, if you make EQ changes, if you make reverb changes, it's all gonna happen in real time. Saved. Wonderful. So anyways, I just wanted to do a quick update video to that previous video because I left it out and you guys know me. Please press like on the way out the door and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.